Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm here with the hair of Tola Perfumes from the Middle East, and he's gonna give us a little guided tour of his line. Hi there. Uh, hi everyone. Um, Tola is actually the first uh, niche Emirati perfume brand mm -hmm. that is based with a concept and which is launched on an international level. Okay. Uh, Tola is actually a, a metric system, measuring a metric system which is equals to 11.67 grams. Okay. And it's, uh, it's mainly used to measure gold, commodities, and Middle East and Asia, they would use it also to measure perfume oils. Okay. So when you go to the market, they'll ask for one toll of this oil, okay. one toll. So the brand name was taken from there, and we were lucky to, to find that it was available. Um, the brand took me three years to develop. It started in 2010. Okay. Uh, my, the real story behind it and creating it was two individuals who inspired me. It was my mom and my eldest sister. Beautiful. And actually, their, her sons are here. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, the way we looked at I mean, we were talking, we were sitting in London. They usually mix their own oils to, for their own use or gifts. Okay. And you know, a ma mother and her daughter, each one is bragging who's doing it better. Okay. So like I said to them, and you know, for me, I was sitting being, I'm the youngest with them seeing what they did and seeing the smile on their faces. I just looked at them and I said, I mean, I was really happy to see that smile. I said, I'm gonna create a brand for you guys. And who knows, I might Very share nice. with them the smile you have on your faces. Awesome. So I researched for a whole three years, working, testing, developing, uh, creating the whole concept in terms of branding, packaging, uh, everything is done in-house. Who's the perfumer? Actually, I work on some of them, okay. uh, and my eldest sister, so I took some of the fragrances, some things so I've worked on, and then I would send them to the factories, analyze them, and mm -hmm. rework on them uh, with other... I've smelled them. some of these, and they really smell wonderful. Um, it's different than American perfumery, of course, this we know. Um, tell us about oud. Is there anything that's oud specific Actually, here? Actually, uh, there are uh, some of them with a hint of oud. Okay. Basically, I didn't use a lot of oud and I wanted to avoid creating just a typical Middle Eastern okay. fragrance because my aim was more of to be an international brand. Okay. So what I did is try to find a, a loca place where, I could, where East and West could meet together, so okay. where I can blend. And uh, this is how I've created them. I mean, I've got, for example, um, Shahzada is, is actually has a bit of oud, a hint of oud in the end. This is a Turkish smell rose it, sure. uh, with, with the... Uh, is that the first one from there? Yes, that Gulbadan. I definitely smelled oud. oud in it. Um, you've got oh, this one, nice. the woody one, which is a uh, miskal, which has a bit of oud. I like this. Now, would you consider these masculine, feminine, or unisex? Well, or? I consider them unisex. Um, I, mean, I like that. I mean, uh, yeah. you could wear a fragrance at any time. And you would never come and judge. The only way, honestly, that would make a difference in you choosing a fragrance is the weather, where you are in mm -hmm. a certain point in destination, how, how, what's your mood. Today you might love a fragrance, the second day you might hate <laughs> You're it. You're so right. I mean, it just all depends on your mood. Yes. And, and honestly, I don't get, I, anything that is, doesn't, has no differentiation physically, Mm -hmm. Between uh, and gender, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would consider it unisex. So, what's your price point? And I, I know you're not in the United States yet. Uh, and I mean, currently uh, in London and in pa Europe, or Paris, or Italy, and Hungary, uh, London it's retail at 198 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, France, uh, Italy, Hungary, it's at 225 euros. Uh, it's basically the same within uh, okay. each. In Dubai, it's the same, but without the taxes or the VAT. Where, where is your company based? In, in Dubai. Dubai, yeah. awesome. All right, well, thanks for the uh, run through. I really Thank like you. some of the things that I've smelled them. That's My great friend Daha from Tola Perfume. And hopefully, Please. we'll see you in Dubai. Soon. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.